Okay, so we are now going to look at another piece, which is, to me, it's kind of a, the sad part of the lack of planning. And sometimes it's not even the lack of planning. Sometimes it's a situational jargon or situations that cause a person to not be able to uh, made those have made those necessary um, plans by using the tools that were available, especially um, older folks who have gone through difficult time and challenges in their life where everything that they had to to do wasn't so much didn't, didn't revolve that much around savings, which savings should have been a priority. It was merely about survival and taking care of their immediate needs. And so they come to the stage in their life where they are at that, um, they are at that um, roadblock of retirement and now they are looking through a different lens backwards and say, wow, I'm about to, I'm in that retirement field and I don't have what it takes or the necessary capital that I can look forward to, to retiring. So that's kind of a, a sad moment there. And I am want to say it's not the end of the world. And so since you are the expert at this, I'm going to turn this matter over to you where we can, where you can encourage and shed some positive light on where does a person go when they find themselves at that juncture to say, well, what if I don't save and I'm 60 years or older, where do I go from here? Yeah. You know, so yeah. touch base on that for me, Jacob. Right, so um, as much as I will encourage everybody to have a retirement strategy and start early, um, I also know and acknowledge that uh, there are uh, some folks who discover the essence of retirement planning rather late. Now, if, if that happens to you or anybody uh, in the United States, we're lucky to have at least Social Security, uh, Medicaid, Medicare to uh, the rescue. So you need to you know, have a meeting with the social security representatives. Um, if you're still gainfully employed, it's never too late. Something is better than nothing. So start contributing, no matter how small, start contributing. And what social security tries to do is that they try to establish equity. Now, it is true that you need to put in your 40 credits. Otherwise, you do not qualify for social security. And so at 60, um, unless you plan to wait till 70, uh, you might not qualify, but it's, if you're still active, it's better to start so that if something happens, you do have some kind of a backup. At least you can withdraw what you put in. Okay. Right. Outside of that, uh, there are uh, 401ks and private investments that you can do. Uh, in addition to that, the cities and the states also have what we call safety nets, mm -hmm. where you will speak to a representative from the state and they will assess your situation and based, see the strength of the society is that we take care of the least amongst us. Right. And so if you fall in that net and the, the system does have safety nets where um, we provide what we call subsidized housing for the elderly mm -hmm. or for those who can genuinely not afford it, subsidized healthcare, Mm -hmm. and, and a stipend to make sure that uh, you, you, you survive. Right. Uh, you have to understand that that, uh, that stipend would not let you live as in take care of your hobbies and enjoy life as we want it to be. So you need to psychologically uh, program yourself that, yes, you have a place to lay your head. You have three square meals a day. You might do a vacation or, or two you know, sometimes if you're able to afford it, right. you're not going to be able to do the things that you plan to do. So you have come to the end of the road and you have to accept that shot of a lottery. And uh, this is where we are. And when psychologically you accept it and you manage the little that you're getting 
and you'll be surprised how the human condition is able to adapt to that. Right. So it's it's actually not the the end of the road. Um, it's not. And, 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 and I might add that. Sorry, it's, uh, I didn't mean to cut you off. But I might add that if you have like-minded folks around you, right, right, uh, uh, there's what we call the strength of numbers. If you have like-minded folks around you, uh, the people around you who are in the same situation can actually come together. Mm -hmm. And together, their contribution, no matter how small it is, is more uh -huh. powerful than you, the individual, right? Uh -huh. There's something called communal leaving, where uh -huh. you can decide that um, you share a house and each of you will be in a room so that you contribute less towards rent than you otherwise would if you own the entire apartment, mm -hmm. right? You mm -hmm. split bills and guess what? You have company in the process, which is priceless, right. you know, and you find ways of doing things together as a community to abate the uh, uh, lack of retirement uh, uh, income. Right. But um, also I, I'm going to, let me, let me jot this down. So, so I don't forget, um, you know, it's a, it's a, it's a funny thing that, you know, young people won't understand this because you have to live it to experience mm -hmm. it. And mm -hmm. part of it is the older you get is the less your circle of friends will be. So <laughs> part of what, you know, I try to encourage, I try to encourage um, young folks and people I like to cherish friendships because we are going to hit an, 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 an age bracket where you would know, you can now number your friends on one hand perhaps. And yeah. if you are not careful, you might be looking for both hands to try to come up with one number. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> so you've been digging around for a long time. <laughs> so as 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 Joe yeah, as that song, <laughs> that song is the truth. And so you mentioned something that I want you to just expound on a little bit. And that's that the, the, the 40 credits that you talk about, because I'm thinking that there are some people might be still wondering. What is this 40 credit that Social Security has uh, stipulated that I acquire or I achieve over a certain lifetime of working? So the 40 credits equates to 10 years of active working. You know, each year is broken down into four quarters. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. And so you expected to contribute four quarters a year for 10 years, that's 40 quarters. Mm -hmm. And that's the 40 credits bottom line. And so it's nothing short of the contribution that you make to, into social security. Um, and social security is a great tool. Why? Because it is like a national pool where folks contribute a percentage of their income. So both you and the millionaire are contributing to the same pool and then you are both paid out of the pool. Now, if you are of a lower income, because you're contributing into the same pool as the very wealthy guys, you end up benefiting in the sense that the system has been set up to create some level of equity mm -hmm. where if somebody has been very lucky in their life or work hard and been able to enjoy a lifestyle, right? There is a sudden give and take where because of their grace, they're able to seed a, a portion of their income to help the less fortunate. Oh. So the folks who contribute heavily into social security end up contributing towards those who do not earn as much and contribute as much. You just, you have to qualify by at least contributing 10 years or more of working um, life in there. But it, it is, it is, it is, it is a very important uh, uh, program. And it's imperative that if, if you, if you are a business owner and you have a, um, a tax preparer or somebody who files your taxes for you, and you have not asked this uh, tax preparer whether or not they are paying your social security contribution, that is a question that you have to ask them and say, right. is there a line item for my social security contribution? Mm -hmm. Because if that doesn't happen and your focus is on the um, tax returns that you're getting, and you might have the short end of the state come retirement because you will realize that perhaps you're not contributing what you should into social security and then you'll be found wanting. All right. And, you know, and that's a shock that I know some people have had. So if you have an, a business owner or you're self-employed and right. you're 
having a tax person do your taxes for you or you're preparing your taxes yourself and um, ensure that you do have a line item for your social security contribution, Medicare, Medicaid contribution, so that all these things are taken care of whilst you're actively working. So they'll come to your aid when you're no longer actively in the workforce. Right. And um, is there a way that an individual can actually call up um, social security office and try to find out what is the uh, amount of money that is actually slated for their allocation based on their contributions and know have an idea of where they are and what they need to do if they need to do anything more to increase that or, or work on and making that better and actually just to be aware of what is going to be bestowed upon you when you get to that retirement piece where now you are going to be looking towards getting that um, support from Social Security? Absolutely. Uh, the, uh, go to ssa.gov. The Social Security website is very friendly. It has a lot of resources and tools there. You can uh, play around there. You'll be able to do the projections if you're tech savvy. Uh, it, it, it's there, 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 there are formulas there that you can play around with to do that projection. However, there's an even easier way. Um, call your bank. Um, oh. bank. These are private institutions, right. but they offer these services for free. Totally complimentary. Call your bank. Uh, say you want to sit with your banker to discuss uh, your long-term financing, right? Uh, your medium-term and long-term financing. They'll talk to you about building an emergency fund. They'll talk to you about preparing for retirement. And if they think you're ready, guess what? They will partner with you to sit with a financial advisor or financial planner to go in depth. And they can calculate uh, how much do a projection of how much you'll be earning. So you can do that through your banks, through your, there are some very sap tax preparers who do that for you as well. It's tax season now. And so most people are going to see that tax preparers, some of them are very savvy. They can talk to you about that. Uh, and worst case scenario, you can just go to the social security website and then have fun with that. If that doesn't work, you can call social security and they have very um, knowledgeable representatives who will guide you through that. So resources abound you just have to take advantage of that right and so so back me up on this um you're saying that your bank which you save or do uh, your regular transaction with will provide a free service to talk about and give you some information on your social security benefits and also put you on a path to begin the process of planning for your retirement free of charge yes yes, yes. Okay. What, what the only thing they charge for is your financial planning planning but the okay. consultation process is complimentary complimentary okay yes. that is that is that is wonderful to know well um yes an audience um around the world we are going to wrap this up by telling you thanks and saying thanks to mr jacob van der Poy for is um, contribution towards the our um, pre-planned and, and and our retirement future by having to uh, give us some wonderful and um, informative information based on his expertise, his background, and it should be uh, one of those things that you will be able to put to some great use and find value and get some value out of it. So again, I want to say thank you, Mr. Van der Poy, for another session on this segue of um, The Voice, uh, where we discuss all your financial um, planning and financial information. We give you all of those bits and pieces that you can have some takeaway or then you can go about getting additional information or coming down the uh, in the pipeline we are going to begin to open the lines where one can call in and contact us and contact Mr. Van der Poy for additional information. So again you can also um, remember you can also join us uh, on Facebook see us on YouTube and also visit our website for upcoming um, podcasts of similar nature where we will be back with Mr. Von der Poy again to discuss 
uh, more invest investments and investment planning because all of those things is part of how we build wealth, how we get to that retirement um, uh, piece of our life in a in a in a in a sustainable way where we can maintain ourselves when we go to uh, retiring from the workforce and then we are able to live. Um, uh, the life that we initially want to, whether it's, a, it's just to travel, whatever it's to play golf, whatever it's just spend time with the grandkids or the great grands. So again, Mr. Vonderpoy, thank you very much for- Thank you for having me. Yes, sir. And I look forward and along with the, the, the viewers who I know will be tuning in for the next episode when we publish and tell them when you'll be on again, Mr. Vonderpoy. Have a wonderful, wonderful rest of your day. Thank you. I appreciate it. All right. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye. -bye. Bye.